Even with last Ethereum upgrades, the cost of fees still continues to be prohibitive for many, and throughput is not at the required level, which slows the rate of mass adoption. Ethereum has designated sharding as the long-term solution to this problem. So, let's start with what is EIP4844. The protocol known as EIP, or Ethereum Improvement Proposal, enables programmers to suggest new functions and fixes for the Ethereum chain. Proto Lambda and Dankred Feist, two Ethereum researchers, are honored by the name Proto Danksharding, also known as EIP4844. To comprehend EIP4844, Firstly, let's describe what sharding is. In a nutshell, it's a technique for dividing large databases into smaller ones that manage particular data segments, enhancing the effectiveness and performance of these databases. Thank sharding is a type of sharding that Ethereum intends to use to increase throughput while reducing transaction costs. It aims to provide more space for data blobs rather than transactions, which is one of the main differences between it and previous sharding proposals. Okay, now let's move on and look how exactly does EIP4844 work. Blob carrying transactions, which are similar to regular transactions but with additional pieces of information known as binary large objects or blobs, will be the main innovation in EIP4844. The memorable alliterative phrase EIP4844 bolts blobs onto blocks is how Ethereum contributor Ben Edgington sums up proto dank sharding. It briefly explains how blobs are attached to blocks in blob carrying transactions, increasing the amount of data that these blocks can hold. Blobs are large in size, but in contrast to blocks, which are kept for all time and are visible to the Ethereum virtual machine, blobs are only accessible for a brief period of time and are invisible to the EVM. Blobs are also located on the Ethereum consensus layer rather than the computationally intensive execution layer. But how will EIP4844 benefit users? After the implementation, users will notice a visible improvement, primarily in the form of quicker transactions and lower fees. But additionally, a successful implementation will also increase Ethereum's competitiveness in the cryptocurrency market. Proto dank sharding will raise TPS to about 1,000 and most importantly will present a new transaction type that allows for the acceptance of data blobs, which is crucial for enabling full dank sharding later on. So, that's the end of the video around everything about EIP4844, also known as Proto dank sharding. Now if you have found the content helpful, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.